now is a good time to add the vehicles back so all the cars and trucks if you look inside the hierarchy you will see the vehicles and this has all the vehicles under it so that's the apparent with all the uh, children as being vehicles now make sure you go to the inspector and select the box and they all appear right here now the challenge here is to make sure that these vehicles are synchronized from the server to all the clients as well in order to do so we need to add an identity to all of them and a network transform so i'm going to select the first one the car green and inside of the inspector i'm going to click on add component and locate network identity all right and i'm going to add this now i'm going to not select server only or local player i'm just going to leave it the way it is and i'm going to keep going and do the same for all the different cars and trucks car green one add component network identity truck blue add component network identity truck add component network identity almost there there's only two left add component network identity and then car yellow add component network identity all right now next thing we want to do is also make sure that we synchronize the position and to do that we need to add a network transform synchronizer i'm going to click on the car green too and then i'm going to put this down and then in the high in the inspector click on add component and then instead of network identity i'm going to look for network transform there it is i'm going to select that and then Make sure that under the next the network transform you have a network send rate that's okay. None will be okay because these don't need to be synchronized too much because they are still moving. All right. Same thing for the car green. Add component network transform. Truck blue. Add component network transform. Next one the truck regular truck. Add component network transform. Keep going. Now as you can see, um, there's a lot of uh, redundancy i'm doing the same step over and over again and that's okay because there isn't that many of them but remember that if you see that you're doing this too many times that there's something wrong the best is to create a prefab and just add the prefab multiple times and only apply the changes to the prefab okay but anyway just uh, uh, as you can see i'm already done so it wasn't that bad but in the future if you're planning on creating a huge map then remember to add prefabs now we need to edit the scripts of the vehicles so that we get rid of the obsolete logic for the players i'm going to click on the car green 2 and select the uh, car drive right and that will open it inside of monodevlop now as you can see there's some um, code that we don't need anymore such as the iron man behavior script we don't need that so i'm just going to get rid of it now obviously if i get rid of it i need to get rid of all the calls i don't need this anymore and I don't need this line anymore. These two lines actually, the game object player neither. All right. And I'm going to repeat the steps for the um, car drive left. So going back to Unity and in my project, I'm going to be looking for car drive left. Car drive left. Here it is. I'm going to double click on it and do the same step. I'm going to get rid of the Iron Man behavior script. And I will get rid of these two lines again. and this update statement all right and now i'm going to save again on the left side we have the server and on the right side we have the client and as you can see already the cars are going at the exact same pace and they are all synchronized now i can even stop a game and bring it back later and the trucks and the cars will still be synchronized let me show you i'm going to click on land client very soon all right, land client, and there you go. You see that that car just passed by, it was synchronized. Same thing with the truck. So, okay, now we have the trucks and cars synchronized. Perfect.